I've been dating this guy for like three months and I think he might be catfishing me. I have no idea who's catfishing her. But that bitch had it coming. You don't steal Jamila's man. Having followers doesn't mean you can't be a catfish. For someone who lives on Instagram, it might be easier to fake a profile. Piper, look, there's someone outside the house. What? They've just been sitting in the car for the past three minutes. Should we call the cops? Let's go. You think you can put people on glass for what? 123 views? You made me look like a f***ing psycho, like from the show You. You know, if I knew what you were gonna say about me, maybe I would've wanted my face blurred too. Nick, I'm just no, 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 no. You put me on glass, but completely forgot to mention that Daniel tried to propose to Mira and she turned him down. F*** you, Piper, and f*** you too, Joe. He was right though. I hadn't even considered that fact about Daniel. If I forgot about a big event like that, what else was I forgetting? After the first episode came out, Joe and I have been receiving fan theories and some of them are just too great to ignore. Some of them, well, some of them are just too crazy to not put in the series. Hey Piper and Joe, so I think the catfish is my brother Gary. For a while he was texting Mira and she would stop by occasionally and they would go down to the basement. Then out of the blue it all just ended in a snap and I think it's very suspicious. Hey Mira! Hey! Uh, so get this, one of our fan theories is about Gary. Yeah, what about him? Well, they think he's the catfish because, you know, you guys were, like, hanging out and hooking up or whatever, and then it just, like, stopped suddenly. Whoa, 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 wait a sec. You think I was hooking up with Gary? Gary? Oh no, Rose. I would never hook with him. Gary, Piper. It's Gary. He was my science partner because he was assigned to me. Wow, okay. Um, didn't know you felt that way about him. Um, you know, he's actually not that bad. Um, we had homeroom together, and then like one day during Spirit Week, he- Gary! Piper! It's Gary! Wait a sec. Do you like him? The lady doth protest too much, methinks. Rose, Piper, I'm hanging up like right now. That was a little sketch, right? Hey Piper, I love your series and I thought I'd share my two cents. So, I noticed that Luke and Daniel worked at a tennis club together before the pandemic started. And it got me thinking, what if they started talking and realized that Mira was a bitch to both of them and like mess with their feelings? Sorry, I know, I know she's your best friend, but, but hear me out, okay? What if, they decide, decided that Mira deserves a taste of her own medicine. So they made her fall for a guy only for her to find out he doesn't even exist. That's what made the most sense to me. I hope it helps. Anyways, on a side note, I just wanna say, I totally ship you and Logan together. You guys are so cute together. I saw like couples photos of you on Instagram and I think you guys really- Let's uh, let's just um, Let's move on, right? On to the next one. Okay, so here's my theory. Mira isn't really being catfished. She's just doing all of this for attention. I mean, think about it. Like with Mason, when she found out that he was fake, 
she was fake crying. There were no real tears. I saw it. Like, I think that she was just embarrassed and she made the profile herself and didn't want you to find out. Makes sense. I think that she just wants more followers on Instagram or something. I mean, has she ever called you about the investigation? Has she ever even thanked you for doing all of this? It seems like she doesn't care who the catfish is and you care a lot more than she does. You're a lot more concerned than she is. I've been thinking about this for a while. Could Mira have been lying to me? Maybe Mira doesn't want to find out who it is, not because she is the catfish, but because ignorance is bliss? What are you doing? Uh, <laughs> I'm just looking at the comments from the last episode and people are saying that I'm the catfish. Bro, I can see that. What? Well, if you think about it, you kind of have a motive. What? Think about it. I'm sure you're a bit jealous that Mira has a lot more luck with guys than you do. Or you couldn't meet the profile because you care too much about her. What? No. What? Come on, remember that one episode of Catfish that you made me watch where the best friend ended up catfishing her? Yeah, but... I mean... In the episode, the friend wanted to show her what a good relationship should be like, and she felt that she was helping her. Also, I'm pretty sure in the movie Cyberbully, the best friend makes the fake account. Also, it's funny that Bonnie brought up Nick's party, because that's where Mira totally embarrassed you during Never Have I Ever. Remember when they said, never have I ever slept with someone and you put a finger down, and she told everyone that you were lying? Maybe this is your revenge, or maybe you're in love with her. Uh, 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 Joe, I, I can't believe you brought up Nick's party. That, that's so embarrassing. It's just a theory. But you didn't have to go that far. I'm sorry. I hate to say this as well, but you could be paying someone to take the fall after you get famous from the series. This is unbelievable. Yeah, Joe, with all the money I'm making from Yogurtland, I'm definitely paying someone off. This, this is the stupidest thing. I don't think I'm going to even put this in the episode. You want me to get my computer to prove it to you? Will that... You want me to get my computer? I'll go get... Piper, it's just a theory. I believe you. You don't have to get your computer. It's fine. Joe? Joe, I just got a, a voicemail from a random number and you won't believe what it says. What does it say? Well, I'll get it. Here, ready? Listen. Stop this series immediately. 